and welcome to Model Train Fun. Today I'm going to look at making an alternative uh, track bumper for the uh, C-Track. So if we have the uh, ordinary uh, track bumper here from Märklin, um, you see it has um, this kind of bulb in the end here and it actually sticks out uh, quite a lot if, if we talk from the bumper here to the end. So it takes some extra space and uh, this uh, bulb here. So I was thinking, could that be uh, done nicer? Uh, and could you uh, um, even uh, use, uh, let's say, uh, track bumpers from other manufacturers as well? Um, so the first thing I looked at was, uh, I actually like this track bumper here, uh, which is the Macklin one. I wondered if I could get it uh, by itself. As it turns out, I actually can. If you uh, look at this one here, so this is actually uh, the uh, track bumper for the uh, K-Track. So this is Macklin 7391. Um, and if we uh, unpack this one here, um, it comes with a screw. And then in here, we actually have the uh, track bumper that looks uh, exactly like the one we have already mounted on the Macklin uh, track bumper for the C-Track. So um, now we just need something to uh, finish off uh, the track here at the end here. Here they made this uh, what I would consider an ugly bump. Uh, unsure though if this is a prototypical or not. So um, what could we do with that? Is there anything that can end the C-Track? And if we look at it, there's actually uh, these ones here. These are end pieces uh, for the C-Track. So this is Macklin 24001, so 24001. If we look at these pieces here, they are actually uh, small end pieces here that can be mounted uh, directly on the track. So now I can uh, take and mount this uh, on a straight track here, for example. And now we got a nice end here. And then we can add the track bumper like this. However, as you see, it falls off. And why is that? That's actually because there is here something sticking out. If we look at it from above, it's actually um, a hole here to uh, put a screw in. Uh, I wonder why that is there. Well, if you look here at the other one, you can see there's also a screw down there. Is it easy to see? Well, it doesn't want to zoom in. So there's a screw down there that actually holds it. You can actually see it here from the bottom. It's actually supposed to hold the, the or it holds the uh, track bumper on the track. However, I can live without that. Of course, I could, uh, since I got a screw here, I could make a hole in my track. However, if you notice, this hole is actually dead in the center. If I turn my track around and if I look at it, that means I have to drill through uh, some metal here. So that probably will be impractical. So what I did figure out instead is, why don't I just snip off this little excess thingy here? So what I do is I take some I think they're called pliers, so I can basically uh, snip off the plastic. I use the edge here of the carton here because I didn't want to make it entirely flush uh, with this bottom here. I want actually just a little millimeter or something like that. I can go and then I can basically just snip this off like this. And you see I just got a little snipped off. I'm not sure that's enough. Let me try again. Yeah, it was definitely not enough, so I do it like this. And you see, now I got it shortened, so it's barely sticking out here. Why do I want it just sticking out a little? Well, because I would actually like, see, when I put it on here, I would like to make it stick out a little and then basically capture the th third rail, the little uh, tabs here on the third rail here, uh, if it can catch those so it doesn't slide. So now I can basically just put this on the track here. And you see I have it on the track. And since it's sticking out just a little, it will not actually move. Uh, the benefit also of this is 
you know, depending on how you like it, you can mount it a little further away or so uh, from the end of the track as you see fit. So to me, if you compare these two, I like the, this alternative way here. By the way, I used a, a Machlin one here. Uh, consider uh, track bumpers from other uh, manufacturers or maybe even, uh, let's say, uh, from some of the uh, plastic model kits uh, that are out there, some of those manufacturers. Uh, the good thing is the C-Track is HO track, so anything that fits with HO track will actually fit on these track. Now, the um, other benefit there is with this is, um, let me just mount this again. Now I can also vary the length of the track. If you look here at the standard Macklin one, it has a certain length. I can mount it basically on anything I want. So here's a shorter track. This is the uh, standard straight track. So I can mount it uh, on anything I would like to mount it on. I could take any other track length as well. You could consider putting it on a curved track. The only thing though is if you put it on a curved track, so let me try that. Um, you see the ends here kind of don't really uh, follow the track too well. So I imagine when a, a train car comes in and hits this, it will hit it crooked and that will probably not be good. So it probably works best on a straight track like that. I hope you uh, liked this video. If you liked the video, uh, please uh, hit the like button. If you have any uh, comments or questions or tips or tricks, or maybe you have other favorite uh, track bumpers you use, I'd like to hear about it. So please put it in the uh, comments uh, below. Uh, other than that, please do consider to subscribing to the channel. And I hope to see you next time. Enjoy.